guys blue lightning here welcome back to another video and today guys i'm sorry i haven't been filming in a while but i'm back at the grind man i streamed one time and now i'm gonna be making a video um showing you guys uh there's a, a few new things like i bought some like ikea plants uh, for my uh, setup and stuff like that and uh i got keycaps um i got the like hyperx um, putting keycaps guys and as you guys can see there's it's already dirty they're they're pretty dirty um especially inside my keyboard like here it's it's kind of a it's kind of a mess so i'm gonna be cleaning these today and since i already did a keyboard video i'm gonna tell you how to clean your keycaps but like the the good way to clean your keycaps so let's get and started the things you need to do this process you need a microfiber cloth um to like clean away the dirt from like the keyboard you need like a bowl or some sort with some uh some water and uh you need some soap some like dish water so, uh, some dish soap um to just clean the keycaps off so and you also need a keycap puller and before you begin make sure you take a keyboard like a picture of your keyboard so you don't mess up after you take off the keycaps all right so let's get started i'll take mine off back and i took off the all the keycaps and as you guys can see there's a lot of dirt and like hairs and, and food and it's it's gross guys it's disgusting and like there's like some spit marks it, it's eel that's the right word so i did forget to say get something like a paintbrush like a brittle one or something like a toothbrush would work some something like this would be just fine um but make sure you have one of these and just uh, try to like pick off like some of the dirt stuck in there like all that boo and it goes away so I'll meet you guys after you guys are done now. out of the keyboard and now it looks pretty clean like you can't get out every single little thing but just try to get as much as you can and now what you can do is just like after you take it just clean like the top a little bit put it to the side and just like take the dirt and just put it on like the ground or whatever or put it in a trash can somewhere or something like that and after you have a clean surface space again you what you have to do is um you can grab your microfiber cloth you know and just clean like the little like the slides and everything if you want uh wherever it's like dusty just clean it off really good you know and like i have like an oled screen so i'm gonna clean that really nice and rub it and boom looks brand new so my keyboard is really clean right now so we can get to the next step keycaps so i'll meet you guys at the water sink get a bigger bowl just so i can fill the keycaps in and what you want to do now is you want to go to your water source and you want to turn on the uh heat so my heat is right here as you guys can see the red so i did that and when you turn on the heat you just want to fill up the water so so you can like put some keycaps in here but at first what you want to do is you want to grab your dish soap and you just want to just want to squirt some in there some dish soap not this is not hand soap this is our dish soap this is where we keep it so some of that right here and just you get it in real good where the water can f go inside of it. And I'll meet you guys when I get some hot water in here to show you guys. So I got some uh, some help here from my trusty little stand here. I'm um, sorry that it's in the way, but that will do for now. Um, so I got the water in here and you just want to take like a plastic spoon or something that you don't really care about. And you want to get your keycaps ready. So... I got the dish soap in here and I just got some a little warm water not hot and if you guys are doing warm water make sure that you have PBT keycaps and not ABS um, just for specific reasons and um, when you are doing uh, this try not to have hot water so you want to check if it if it's a little too hot dump some of it out and then 
put some cold one in. So I'm gonna put a little cold water in. Um, and what you wanna do is you just wanna mix it in with like the soap from the bottom, um, just so you get the full experience. And you're gonna want to dump some of the keycaps in there. That way, um, let's see. Yep, it's just a little warm. So you just wanna gonna you're just gonna wanna take your keycaps. Just maybe pour some of the water out. You just want to have too much. And just pour some cold water in. So and then just mix it up a little bit. And after you've done this, what you're gonna wanna do. I just put some keycaps. So put some keycaps. And after you have put your keycaps, just let them soak there for like 20, 30 minutes or maybe 10 minutes. I will, I'm gonna put mine for 10 minutes and uh you know, space bar, it's really hard to get in there. So just mix them up a little bit, put, put them in some water. Um, you basically just make a cereal. And uh, you maybe wanna do the same for your space bar. And maybe get some of the water, maybe put with your hands. And just mix it all in there. Um, make sure they're all staying in. And if they're not, and they're all out of there, um, and you might want to put some more water and make sure it's not hot water again just a little warm a little warm to the touch room room temperature is probably the best choice um or yeah so there you go just want to clean them up really good and i'll see you guys when i'm done with this part right, so i'm gonna i just wash my hands so i'm gonna Sit these for around five minutes or maybe two minutes. Um, don't sit them in too much just because I don't know the effect of it since it's plastic um, and if it is warm water. So just to be safe, put them in for like two minutes. Or if you just want to do it, just like mix them around a little bit just to like get them wet and then just take them out and put them on some like, uh, let's just say, put them on like a paper towel or something where they can like dry up on and um, just like you can maybe first like squeeze them a little bit to get some of the water out and then just let them dry for around two to five hours or just let them sit overnight like i will um so yeah guys that is going to be it and i will see you guys right after i get these out of here and put them on there all right guys That's all, and i put them in some cold water just to like let them get cleared out and i will mix them up a little bit and um, just so you guys wonder, I put them in this thing, um, just so the cack up, like the keycaps don't fall in this, cause it's kind of like, you know, I don't want like the clean keycaps to fall. And never mind. Um, I just put it in this guys, um, just to like get the water out. And then I put them in some cold water, I clean the cup. So now what I got to do is just clean the keycaps a little bit, just like with the cold water and let them dry. So I'll see you guys then. And here is my final product. Um, I put them in here um, just because um, I needed to guys and I needed to just like clean them out right and everything. And now I need to dry them. So that's the next step, drying them. This is probably the most long step and kind of the painful step because you can't use your keyboard. Um, unless you have different sets of keycaps like me. So I'm going to be able to use my keyboard with my other keycaps, which will be perfect. But, um, after you're done with all of this, all you have to do now, maybe make like a burrito shape kind of thing. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do like the burritos and put one here. Take this one, put it right here. And just squish it all up together and just 
just like wiggle it just try to dry them out together you know and now all you can do it the best right is it's pretty much this and they're still wet you know so it takes around a, it takes a few hours to get them completely dry and i would still just do it overnight just so i don't risk the chance of the keycaps um being basically like still wet inside of here um if the camera will focus inside here just so uh like the, the it doesn't damage a switch so i'm gonna leave these and this is what i'm gonna do to the keyboard for today so i'm gonna be done and yeah guys this was it for this video um thank you guys so much for watching man and please subscribe guys hit smash that like button guys subscribe share this video with everyone you know because it's all appreciated guys and if you guys didn't like the video then go ahead drop a dislike it's only gonna help me improve guys for future videos so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time all right guys Peace. so it's been around a week ever since i cleaned my keycaps and um i just wanted to show you guys um i just turned on my pc so that's what's not turning on but here you go i just wanted to show you guys how clean it is that there's no stain marks anymore um it's been around a few weeks um yeah it has a little bit of dust but it's a little bit it's not like last time with like food and it's just much 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 better guys um the keyboard itself is good it's clean i put the P the pbs pbt keycaps back on and i had the um abs ones that i was using um but i put the pbt back on um, back on just so it's much better so there you guys go that was the video guys and oh yeah i did put on my graphic card very cool guys so if you want a video on that and how to do it please let me know down in the comments below and yeah guys i'll see you guys for the next video peace